guys. I. Two. How many is it now? I think there's four of us here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a. I'm pretty four sure there's <laughs> yeah, only yeah. two of them. Yeah, and I'm just the other guy. Ladies and gentlemen, we got something very special. It is the Avengers Infinity War trailer. It's taunting us! <laughs> it's taunting us for like 12 hours! Alright, I think we better watch this fucking thing because, uh, uh, or this guy will go batshit insane. So. I'm not batshit insane, I'm already You're dead. already insane. Alright, <laughs> let's do this. Do this! Alright, let's do it. space so that just leaves the other ones he's going up the vision so i think by the end of the first movie he's gonna have three. Oh god oh that was god. just oh god it's so epic <laughs> i think so good. they I have the 2018 movie right they like the big one because this thing's gonna be a titan this thing's gonna fucking kill every other movie ever <laughs> like I, I like i was looking at the list of movies that are coming out next year and mm. Like, yeah, we've got Black Panther, we've got Ant-Man and the Wasp, we've got an Aquaman movie, we've got a hard solo movie that nobody cares about. It's true. <laughs> um, but no, this is good. Like, the only other movie I've seen that looks really good for next year is Ready Player One by Steven Spielberg. Never heard that one. Uh, we, saw the we saw a trailer for it with Justice League when we saw it again, and it was... It's real. It's like a video game kind of movie, like virtual reality in the future. Like, they cross in and they actually use video game characters. That's, but not like how on Pixels went where it kind of just killed everything. But I want I want this fucking movie. I think we want this fucking movie, don't we? Guys? We all do. Well, not, not too much longer of a wait now. No. Oh. That's seven months ish. Well, April, well, we get Six. it in April. Um, they get it in May, so that's a plus. But we also have to watch Black Panther first. True. Because that's the final stepping stone. But looks like we're getting a lot of Wakanda in that battle there, and. Yeah, I think... Yeah, about five, six months. Yeah, five, six months. I think it's going to be a really good... I don't want to watch it again. Well, it's going to be worth it. Yeah, like, I think it's... 
But this is the movie they've been building for for what yeah. ten years now. Something like that. Like next year's the, the tenth. whole episode. Infinity storyline's been going on since the first movie. Yeah, and you just and you don't even realize that until you go back and watch the first post credit scene, and it's like mm. Avengers Initiative. And then you got to remember that we've also got another Avengers movie coming out the following year, which mm-hmm. is meant to be the final part of that story, and then we move on to a completely different storyline with stuff. But yeah, I think what we've got, what Marvel's done, like I mean, the thing, the biggest worry I've had about this movie was it's a massive cast, and how are you going to work with? Yeah, everyone? that's right. How's how are you going to equalize the screen time? How yeah, you gonna balance the story with all the action. Well, there is something I learnt from watching the Arrowverse crossover they just had. I haven't actually seen that yet. I won't spoil it, Thank but <laughs> the way that... They didn't give everyone enough screen time, but the way they did it was it worked. Like, you're going to expect a lot of screen time from Flash, Green Arrow, and Supergirl and whatnot, but when you think about some of the other minor characters who are part of, like, the Legends and whatnot, you ex- you don't really expect them to get as much, but they, what they do is they give them enough kind of screen time. And so I think with Infinity War, like, you expect, like, certain characters, like, obviously, the original Avengers. Oh, you know who we didn't see in that trailer? We didn't see Hawkeye. I did. I spotted him. Oh, he wasn't there? Yeah, I spotted him. Okay, I missed like, that. Like, you, you see the back of his head. Oh. He, I think he's, like, in a crawling towards something. Like, he's stalking something or he's getting a position for something. I don't know. And I, I saw we, him in there. And I don't think we saw Ant-Man either. No, I didn't see Ant-Man. But no. he's getting another movie, so he yeah. doesn't necessarily... He doesn't, I think he's in the movie, but I, he's not going to be a big part. I think he's confirmed for the sequel, though. Yeah, yeah so with Wasp, Wasp, Wasp is. Uh, Wasp is for the yeah. fourth one. Yeah. But no, I think we've got a really big movie on our... We do. Uh, on our hands and so. I wouldn't be surprised at all if it's three hours long. Yeah, yeah we were just discussing, we were discussing about that earlier. Really yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, Disney seems like I know there's a whole deal with Disney trying to get the X Men and Fantastic Four back with Fox, but honestly, look what they've built without those characters. Like, yes, we finally got Spider Man, but with the characters who aren't the X Men and Fantastic Four, we've got this story. And yes, the Infinity story does include characters like the Fantastic Four, the X Men, and Galactus, but they've done a good job well, without. They can pull it off without it. They've been able to do Civil War without it, yeah, unbelievably. So I reckon they could do Infinity War. Yeah, like the thing is. Despite the fact that characters like the Fantastic Four and the X-Men had a role in Civil War's comic, it worked. Yeah, and we like, just have to wait until after that. Yeah, because like, there is the Cos- the Cosmos mm. era, and they kind of fit more to that story. Yeah, like they like in case people don't know, they're currently in that discussion of like they um, did a bit of an update on that discussion, stating that they are working on it. So, but we'll see. Like I'm not, I don't. To be honest, I don't even think we need the X Men, but maybe the Fantastic Four at least. Just oh well, Fantastic Four are going nowhere over at Fox, so it's best to just bring them home. Yeah, X Men are doing fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think we're good. I think. Did yeah. you want to get a few words in? <laughs> I think I, I got a I got a sentence or two. <laughs> I think it. Yeah. I, I, think I, I, can't, I kind of got like excited while watching the trailer, so I don't really have any more opinions other than. I, I want to watch this fucking movie. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> oh right, yeah, definitely excited. Yeah. What about you guys? Of course, you guys be excited. <laughs> but what do you guys think of the trailer? Are you, is that pump you up even further? Are you like, I do have one more thing on that. I don't think we need to do the trailer. I think that's enough to really get yeah, us. Yeah, well, going. if they give us another one, it's going to spoil. I lot. mean, everyone knows the movie's coming out. Yeah, they don't need to over fucking. Overdo it. Overdo it like I did with Age of Ultron. Yeah. I really hope they don't make that that mistake again. Yeah, because... Please don't do that again, guys. (laughs) Yeah, because even with the last few movies, like with Ragnarok, um, actually Spider-Man was probably the one that gave too much away. Like, if you look at all of that, it gave so much of the story away. It even showed you basically the ending. While with Ragnarok, you you know what's happening. You're excited. You know that Hulk's in there and stuff, but you don't really know. But, like, even with Star Wars trailers, we've had two trailers for Star Wars The Last Jedi, and we still don't know anything, like, much. We know that something's happening, but we don't know the gist of the whole story. Like, obviously there's that, but with this, I don't want another trailer. If we get another trailer, maybe, like, a 30-second clip, but this is the kind of trailer we need. It's enough. It's yeah. enough. Um, I think I'm going to go with my rule with DC film tr- trailers and just not watch any more trailers after this. Because that they spoil it all. Like Justice League didn't spoil everything, but it, B- BBS did. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Well, 
that's not that's my part. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you think they should only do one trailer or two, whatever? Uh, <laughs> comment below and let us know your thoughts, what you're looking forward to about the movie, and we'll catch us later. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And go to my channel, Venice the Timeline. <laughs> oh. Half my face was out. <laughs>